Hello, everybody. Welcome. Glad that you're here. Yay! Friday night. I like Friday night church because Friday night church, two reasons why Friday night church is good. Most people in Canadian culture, Sunday's church, right? So that means you're here because you want to be here, not just because it's cultural, not just because it's traditional, not because your mama sent you, but for the most part, you're here. Some of the youth, maybe mama sent them. Uh, number two is that uh, if you are Jewish, uh, if you are a Christian in a Muslim culture, then Friday is your day of worship. And so it's a good thing to join people of other faiths or Christians and in other faith communities to be able to, to just worship the Lord. We have tonight a very uh, welcome guest and a friend of our church, Andrew White. He is the former bishop in Baghdad, and uh, now he's based in Jordan and also in Jerusalem. And we're going to have the privilege. Uh, are any of you going to Israel with Sandra and I on Sunday that are here? There's like 73 people going uh, on our group. And uh, one of the people that we're going to visit in Jerusalem is Andrew uh, next week. So, yay! You're buying everyone lunch? Is that what I heard you said? Yes, okay, there we go. I heard it, I heard it. Did you hear it? Some of you didn't hear that. He just has, anyways. We'll, we'll figure that one out, Andrew, anyways. I will. You will. I'm, 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 we're good. So if we show up at uh, 12.30 instead of 1 o'clock. Perfect. Is there some little places to get some uh, chicken shawarma right around the corner? You have a restaurant in your church. Oh, even better. We'll come early then, 12 o'clock, because <laughs> we've got to feed 73 people. I'll talk to you afterwards. We're just negotiating right here. This is what Jewish people do. They negotiate. You know, we're trying to figure out prices going up, prices going down, all those kind of things. How about you stand up? We're going to push in the God. We have the Fresh Wind Band. So if you don't know what the Fresh Wind Band is, that is, it's a little bit like the Newsboys. No, not the Newsboys. Uh, who is the, what's one of the boy bands? <laughs> Sorry? In sync. Yeah, those kind of guys. And sometimes those boy bands switch people. And so our Fresh Wind Band often is different people every year. But it's our youth that play at our Fresh Wind Youth Conference. And so, and youth leaders. And so that's them. Yay! So, they are... They are doing a little bit of a practice for the end of the month of uh, March when we have our youth conference uh, that's going to be here. And by the way, the youth conference this year is really, it's, it's for youth, but everyone's welcome to come. And we've already got um, far more people registered than we normally do at this time. And so we're looking forward to, we've got some great, great speakers and uh, bands that are coming, three worship leaders from Bethel are coming, uh, and uh, it's just going to be great. And the last person that we just added, which I'm really excited about, is uh, a guy who used to come to Fresh Wind when he was 14, 15, 16, uh, an unknown little guy by the name of Justin Bieber, uh, used to come to our youth conference. And his mom used to bring him. And his mom's going to be one of the speakers this year. And she wrote an amazing book about abuse and how she was abused and just the process of finding Jesus and working through all of her stuff. So I, I thought it was a fantastic in-your-face book. And all the Bieberites, is that what they call the just be believers? That's what they are. All the people that love Justin Bieber would be reading his mom's book and hopefully getting saved because she talks about how to get born again in her book. It's a, it's a great book. Anyways, are we ready to worship? Enough about other things? <laughs> how would you just close your eyes? Uh, Father, we welcome you to be with us tonight. It's such an amazing deal, Father, to just hang out with you. Last night, our pastors were meeting in the, one of the side rooms, and Jonathan Clark, our worship pastor, was just on a guitar, just no pre-planned songs, just we're singing as a group. We had our pastors from Halifax and from Ottawa on Skype with us as well. And the Holy Spirit just rolled in, and for those of you that are watching right now, uh, our Ottawa couple were on the ground 
couple in Halifax were overwhelmed. It was just so wonderful just to be recognized that wherever you are, watching or live, that the Holy Spirit's able to engage with us. And that's because we have a, a Father in Heaven who loves us and cares for us. And as we choose to worship Him, He just begins to send His presence our way, send His love our way. And Holy Spirit, we welcome you to come. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for Jesus. And we bless you today, Father. We worship you. We, we choose to give you our attention right now. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you're a newcomer to our church, you are very welcome. We have people come up to the front. And so those of you that like to stand at the front and just push in a little bit more, have a little bit more space, you're welcome to do that. If you are a dancer, a bouncer, a flag person, then uh, underneath the flags over there is sort of your designated area just to go crazy where you're not going to be hitting and bumping into other people. So lots of free space. And you're welcome to stand during worship, to sit down, to lie down. Uh, you worship as you best do. That be all right? Great. Joel, let's go. Come and let your presence fill our praise, fill our praise. Come and let your presence fill our praise, fill our praise. Come and let your presence fill this place. Come and let your presence fill our praise, fill our praise. Come and let your presence fill this place for you. You are the one we want to be. Jesus shine through all the praises that we sing for you. Jesus shine through all the praises have you sing and we have come we have come to give you highest praise highest praise we have come to love you in this place we have come to give you highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this place. We have come. We have come to give you highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this place. We have come to give you highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this place for you. You are the one we want to be. Jesus shine through all the praises that you sing. to give you highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this place. We have come to give you highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this place. We have come. We have come to give you highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this place. We have come to give you highest.
highest praise, highest praise. We have come to love you in this place for you. You are the one we want to be. Jesus, shine through. All the praise is
darkness starts to tremble at the light that you bring and when you walk into the room every heart starts burning and nothing matters more than just to sit here at your feet and worship you we worship you
Sins that I face, oh, and stronger than the power of the grave. It's constant in the trial and the change. This one thing remains. Yeah, this one thing remains. Sing it again, higher. Higher than the mountains that I face Oh, it's stronger than the power of the grave Constant in the trial and the change This one thing remains Yeah, this one Remains. Your love never fails, it never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love never fails, it never gives up, never runs out on me. Your love. On and on.
dead. In death, in life, I'm confident and covered by the power of your great love. My debt is paid and there's nothing that can separate my heart from your great love and in death in life I'm confident and covered by the power of your great love in my death is pain and there's nothing that can separate standing or sitting wherever you are. I wanted to read a passage just before we receive uh, tithes and offerings tonight. And it's from Luke's teaching of, uh, or Luke's record of the teaching of Jesus on the Sermon on the Mount. And Luke chapter 12, verse 29. And Jesus says this, Do not set your heart on what you will eat or drink. Do not worry about it. And then Jesus has a name for people who worry about where their provision's gonna come from. Do you know what he calls you? You know what he calls me? For the pagans <laughs> run after those kind of things. And your father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and these things will be given to you as well. Don't be afraid, little flock, as your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. That is John Arnott's favorite Bible verse. I don't know if you knew that. It's one of the plaques that we have as you come into the, into the auditorium. We have a couple different scripture verses, so that's one of them. And he says this, sell your possessions and give to the poor, provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out, a treasure in heaven that will never fail, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. I don't know if you've noticed, but on the television and radio, there's all sorts of RSVP, not a SVP, RSSPs, what do they call them? Retirement savings plans kind of things. It's a tax season, RSPs, that's what it is. RRSPs. And all these companies are wanting you to invest with them. And they're, they're saying, you know, like, we can help give this much dividends and we can provide security and all that kind of stuff. Yep. If you found a television commercial for a company that says, give us your money, you will get no return. Would you invest with them? And when Jesus said, like, 
sow into his kingdom, care for his people, care, like, which is caring for the poor. When we do those kind of things, we tell Jesus where our heart really is. And I want to encourage you that does the Lord value investing in you because he sees that you're investing in his kingdom? That's a good question to ask, isn't it? Does the Lord value releasing more to you because he, it, he does see, he, does, he knows our hearts, he knows where our, our pocketbook goes, and we can, we can kid other people, we can pretend for other people, we can uh, say that we're doing things, but the Lord knows, knows our hearts. So I want to bless you to be having a, 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 a mind and a heart for the Father and for knowing that he absolutely loves you, his promise, as we've been singing, is to take care of you, to protect you, to provide for you all these amazing things that he will do for you. And he wants, wants to invest in all of our lives. And he's looking for people that, are, that he can trust to invest even more in. I want to be one of those people. Amen? We're going to just keep singing a little bit more. And uh, we've got buckets at the front. And so if you'd like to give a gift to the Lord tonight, uh, just in the next two minutes, we'll get you to come on up and, and give you a gift as we're still worshiping. Uh, if you're writing a check, you can make it out to Catch the Fire. If you want to do credit cards, uh, you can use the envelope. I'm not sure if anyone's at the welcome desk tonight to be able to do debit cards. We have a push pay app. Uh, is that able to go up on the screen? And so if you want to give online, you can text the word catch the fire to 77977 on your smartphone and uh, it, it's all set up for you to give. As soon as you do that, you'll get a bounce back and just all the instructions, very, very easy to do. So that's sort of our giving app is, uh, so you have permission to get your smartphone out and type that number in, even if you're not giving tonight, just to have it all set up for you to be able to do. So let's stand one more time and as we're finishing off this song, let's come and give our, our gifts to the Lord tonight. truth friends God's love just never gives up that's a good thing isn't it yes and the truth is the Bible says that while we were way away from God he saw us and he loved us he saw the potential of what God's love could do 
in your life and my life just absolutely be transformed if his love hit us. And so while we were sinners, God love, God's love came our way, began to provoke us and tease us to begin to choose Jesus. And then once we did that, we just get an overload, an overdose, and over and over and over and over and over, his love comes to us. It's a very good thing, isn't it?